All right, gang. <laughs> we did it. Sans yellow hat. Level 41. I had to just record it on this phone by myself. Nobody to witness it. But you're all witnessing it here. Here is the footage. I did raid after raid after raid. Some of y'all will know whenever it's your time. 30 raids. And I spent a good amount of time today riding all over the city of High Point to do it. And got the task done. It is done. Level 41. Maybe it was all ego. I'm pretty sure it was all ego. Uh, abstract brain waves, game genie in the beanie. We ain't on the same stage, leveled up. Uh, the epitome of technique can't survive in my current thought. Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video. And yeah, just like last video, I'm wearing the same thing. Haven't slept a whole lot, but level 50 is live. Yes, it is live. And I also found my gloves, by the way. I had bought some texting gloves that have the full fingers there, but I had these last year. I had them in some other videos and I could not figure out where I put them. But I got them and that was my reward to myself, I guess, for what you're about to see today. Now, if you open the game, <clears throat> you are just bombarded with a whole bunch of medals. Asterisk by that. Why? You've got to be level 40 already. What does this mean? It means that all of these medals that you received, they're platinum now. So they've gone beyond. See what they did there? Beyond to the next level. So real quick, congratulations, you've earned a medal. 2,000 flying type Pokemon. Uh, this is about 20 of these, so feel free to skip like two or three minutes if you don't, you know, tongue-tied. You don't care about any of this. Congratulations, you've earned a medal. Catch 25,000 poison type. Congrats, same thing. 25,000 psychic type. 25,000 water type. 25,000 fire type. And here's a different one. Achieve a Pokemon catch streak or Pokemon or Pokestop spin streak. Seven days, ten times. All right. Register 151 Kanto region Pokemon. 151. Did I say 151? There it is, 151. Kanto region Pokemon in the Pokedex. Defend gyms for 15,000 hours. Win 100 raids with a friend. I have no idea if I've done it with 1,000, but I imagine I have. Visit 100 unique Pokestops. Catch 2,500 grass-type Pokemon. Catch 2,500 ground-type Pokemon. Evolve 2,000 Pokemon. Catch 2,500 normal-type Pokemon. Defeat 50 different species of Pokemon in raids. That's something I would not have been tallying. Catch 50,000 Pokemon. Use a lore module to help another trainer catch 25 Pokemon. So I'm sure that increases. I, I know I've seen some other guys do that for at least 50 or 100 times. So that has another tier to it, I'm sure. Catch 2,500 bug type. Become best friends with 20 trainers. And believe you me, that's tough to do uh, when you've got 200 on an account and everybody's like, me, me, it's my turn, it's my turn, it's my turn. And don't send gifts, don't invite you to raids. I'm just a little bit salty, bitter, a flavor, a flavor of love though. Yeah, boy. So here we go. Register 100 Pokemon first discovered in the Johto region to the Pokedex. Okay. So that was all of them. So yeah, I went through that as quick as possible because, you know, at the beginning they said the same thing. So here I am, level 40. And here's a breakdown because some of you probably aren't confused by now. But if you are still because you're not level 40 or you just reached level 40, what it's telling you is, on the left is the experience you currently have that can be counted. I have way more XP at the bottom, you see there. Total XP is different from the XP into this level for 41. <clears throat> you need an additional six million is what it's telling you, okay? And then the plus with the binoculars means you got one out of four tasks that you gotta do to get the rest. So you may have zero, for whatever reason I had one. I don't remember what the first one is. It's probably something to do with the medals because a lot of people who already have the medals, 
they've already got one out of these four already done. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and look at what it is. Here's the professor. Now that you've reached level 40, you'll have some new challenges you have to complete in order to reach the next level. So power up a legendary Pokemon 20 times, win 30 raids, and catch 200 Pokemon in a single day. Woo! Hats off if you did all of that in one day. Chances are you did not. So here it is. Uh, I'm out here grinding. These are just pictures because I'm what I'm not going to show you and spend time doing is one breaking down every single level partly because I want it fresh for myself but secondly there are other trainers who have tips to show you that see what I did there so um, and that's the wink by the way not what some of y'all are thinking it is it's not that clearly I'm not in one of these groups that hates people okay <laughs> <clears throat> wow, sorry, I just, I've always, never mind, I'm, I'm rambling. Back to this here. Uh, here's the XL candy. It looks like you found a candy XL. I've heard you can use these to help your Pokemon become even stronger than what ordinary candies can, or ordinary candies alone can achieve. So what's the deal with those? You've got to... Pretty much give a hundred of your candies for that Pokemon or your rare candy move towards a Pokemon just to get one XL candy. It may not be worth it, but like I said in another video, Gyarados is probably your friend. Pidgey is probably your friend. You're going to get XL candies from them. And um, right now, probably Centric, Carnivine, if you're where I live. And, um, you know, Hoot Hoot, you might get something from them. Uh, why? We'll get to that later. So uh, the second reason I don't want to go into all the other levels, they're subject to change, okay? The Australian guys have got it first, and they've had it for about two weeks now. And they're giving, they or they had gay feedback to Niantic, so Niantic may tweak some of this stuff. So just because you see it on some of these other guys' videos doesn't mean it's going to stick. They might change it. I think most of it will stay the same, but... They might make some of it a little bit easier. Now, had I watched some of these tips from some of these other trainers, I might be ahead of the game right now. But the third reason is there's no real rush. Do not rush to get to 50. You're not going to be able to do it in as quick of a time as you think. You're going to need at least two to three months to do it at the, you know, quickest time. <clears throat> but then you're risking yourself of burning out like a lot of us did where you're already level 40 and then there's nothing for you to do. Do you want to be that guy that's already level 50 for bragging rights and then you've got nothing else to do? Now, I say that now in the future to what you saw, which was in the past, telling you this in the present because I got some footage to show you what the rest of this day went like. All right, so November 30th, they drop that new research that was yesterday and that research was for level 40 and you got what you see me wearing here and here it is uh this is that legacy 40 challenge you had to power pokemon 10 times and they gave you great rewards i trade it for a rufflet did i say i said rough it in some chats but it's rufflet why well because i don't really pvp so i never got the opportunity to get one because i didn't win a couple matches I ended up trading with somebody, and then the next day, <sighs> got one of these from the research, okay? So I'm not going to go over all of this, but that was fun. That Legacy 40 challenge was really fun because you could do that in tandem with these level 41 research rewards if you can, because some of them are similar, okay? So again, um, Gyarados is going to be your friend, if I didn't show that image already, I didn't want to use all of my candy, but I got a 100% here, and that's got to be the one. Again, you can go from level 40 to maxing it out to level 50 without being level 50 if you choose to use all this XL candy. I'm not going to do that. Or candy XL, sorry. I'm not going to do that right now. Here's the rufflet that I was telling you about. I'm just going through what's in my phone here. Part two of this, you know, they gave you really good rewards. A thousand... Stardust, you got a Unova Stone, 
and then something else for, you know, using 15 pineapple berries. You're going to need to be using a lot of berries throughout this. They're going to go from wanting you to get these 200 Pokemon, and you may need berries to make it easier, but you're going to need even more berries. That means you're going to need to continually, continuously open gifts and send gifts and all that stuff. I mean, you're going to need it. And lucky eggs are relevant again. Here, you get three passes, three raid passes. You're going to need that. You're going to need that. So here's my evolution here of something. It's Rufflet going to Braviary. Another one off the list. Somebody call DJ Khaled and tell him what? I heard you. You said another one, right? Thumbs up this time because, you know. Uh, yeah, so here we are. I've got an incense on. I believe this is me walking at Walmart somewhere. Just trying to catch as many. I mean, this is really your... Oh, I don't even have it on. I took it off. My gotcha. If you've got a gotcha, that's going to be your best friend. That is going to be your best friend right now. Um, if you need those 200 Pokemon. Because that could be time consuming. Uh, it doesn't really take a long time when you think about it. But if you're trying to do it in a single day during a pandemic and it's cold out. Yeah. Uh, homie's not walking for that. I'm sorry. I know that may be what they wanted, but I'm not doing that. So here we go. I think this was the end here. I claimed these rewards and got all three. And the mystery Pokemon they were trying to tell you about, I deduced last video but didn't say it. It was Esper. And this is this cat Pokemon, okay? It has two forms. A male and a female form. So here's the raid right here. Uh, just showing how it's done. It's got a male and female form. So you're going to want plenty of candy in order to... You know get both forms if you so care now right now that's in one star raids and what a great opportunity i love the foresight of niantic to say people aren't really doing one stars but here's the deal <clears throat> what about these folks in rural areas that can't get out yeah they got remote raid passes but what if they don't want to spend on remote raid passes and they want to just use their regular passes because you may have been like me and had a box from a box, a box from <clears throat> maybe a month or two ago, and wanted to use it right now. Well, your boy went through mostly all of them today. <clears throat> and again, maybe not be necessary. I'm not telling you to do it. I just wanted to do it to get it done to have something different, and I'll showcase how I was feeling in the moment in a little bit. <clears throat> But I was inviting a lot of people to raid. Somebody invited me to this one. Shout out to Tiffany. She invited me to, to the very first Esper. And Esper goes down pretty quick. It, it went like Jake Paul taking on Nate Robinson. Yeah. <clears throat> Just a boom, boom, and that's it. Down goes Frazier. Or down goes Robinson. Maybe that's going to be the new saying there. Who knows? Somebody's probably already saying it. But with a Garatina... <clears throat> It just doesn't stand a chance. I mean, I did a, I did at least a dozen espers, you know, probably even more than that. I would say 20 rays today were all espers. And spoilers, like, I'm where you think I am. Yes, I ascended to the next level. And it's like turning Super Saiyan, like anybody knows what that's like. But that's what it, 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 it. That's what the thought process is like. That's what it, it, it uh, I, I can't even put it in the words really. But Esper looks too cute to be caught, but it had to be caught, okay? So uh, the Meow Stick is what it evolves into. And this looks like a boosted one. <clears throat> and both forms are adorable. It seems to me that the male form is a lot harder to come by than the female form. So be on the lookout for that. I mean, a lot of people today that I rated with were really only looking for the espers for the same reason I'm telling you they wanted both forms. What, what more excuse do you have? Do you really have time to wait around for everyone to do, you know, five-star raid bosses, especially when they're about to switch? Yeah, if you're going remotely, <clears throat> or you're doing some of these Uxie and Misprit and Azelf raids, you could. 
but chances are, are you going to get all 30 of them done? If you're taking your time, cool. You can do that. Maybe you're waiting for Kirim. Kirim is coming, or is already here, as the recording of this video. Uh, so, there's that. Some of you already have, like, 90 million, you know, experience. So it's going to be interesting. I expect you guys to be the first to get to 46. There's a contest, by the way. Look on the Facebook group for that if you're in Pokemon Go High Point. If you're not and you're watching this, you need to go join that. Contest is pretty simple, but yet complex. It's not the first to level 41. It's the first to level 46. I'll probably tell a little bit more about that at the end of the video if I remember. If I forget, I'll come back next video and tell you. So moving on, uh, here I am with the 200 Pokemon done, the powering up done, and whatever that fourth task was done. It was just the 30 rays. Now, unfortunately, just that one Esper counted, but not any raids I might have done prior to that because, well, they just did it uh, because, well, I don't know what I'm talking about. I did some raids before the research dropped is what I'm trying to tell you. So here it is, special research was completed, and this was the Legacy 40 challenge. All of that was done. I got the snazzy uh, Gyarados hat here. Here's me right there. My experience isn't high as, as a lot of you is, but maybe higher than a lot of you watching this is as well. So I did trim down the friends list for some of you watching, so stay tuned for that. If you wanna be friends, here's your opportunity. I got maybe six open slots as of this video. So don't come back here two weeks later and be like, oh, you said you had slots open. No, you were late to the party. And if you're watching this, appreciate people while they're here. Don't wait till they're gone and all of a sudden appreciate them then. Show me the love now, all right? So what I loved about this, speaking of showing the love, I got the all blue outfit on. All blue outfit on, and my buddy here is level 41. Okay, so moving on. Uh, here is a, a reward here. Legacy 40. Achieve level 40 by December 31st. It's already in the bag. We got that. This guy was the first to become level 41 right here that I saw in my area. Now, he's in a different city where they have a lot more stops and gyms and uh, just a, a crew that is more serious about the game, so they got it done. I'm assuming not just him, but a few others. He's also retired. Shout out to John. Uh, he's the reason why it's level 46 and not 41, because some of you already have the experience and have the free time to do it. And what do I look like giving you $41 for becoming 41 within 41 hours? But speaking of which, your boy did that. Yes, level 41 and... 41 hours. Here is Meowstic. A picture of that. This is the male form. And uh, I guess this was me evolving it. I guess I took those out of order. But yeah, here's the evolution here. I'm not sure how it saved after the fact, but that was the very first one going from Esper. So after doing like 20 of these and pineapple and everyone, yes, I had enough candy. I'd be remiss in not telling you Sawsbuck. This is the winter form. I got a winter deerling, which looks pretty regular compared to whatever form, I guess the normal form. Normal form looks more like a summer form, but I've yet to see the summer form in the wild. I know I had a, I guess I could go in the Pokedex and see it, right? Anywho, Sauce Buck looks pretty majestic. It looks like a mountain deer or something like that. It looks like a moose, honestly. But uh, moving on, I did get a shiny Aaron. I may or may not show. Here's the female form of Meowstic. So that's cool. Um, I'm hearing something else about a Kanto event where in a single day you can pick Pokemon red or green and get unique spawns and research based off of that game. That's a cool idea, Niantic. We're going to talk about that more in another video if that comes to light. This is from a third-party site, not officially Niantic, so uh, we'll see. That could be in the future because, well, next year is 25 years of Pokemon and there's rumors all around. If you saw the Macy's Day Parade, you saw a Pikachu with a 2 and a 5 on its cheeks. 
It just means that there's probably some more remakes coming. I would love a sequel to Eevee and Pikachu for the generation after that. I'm going to be all over that. Maybe let you use the Pokeball Go Plus again. I don't know, but we'll see. That's for another video. But, uh, yeah, your boy reached level 41. And it, I'd be remiss to not... I say remiss a lot. I say it every video now, don't I? Uh, this was the Esper, which was the first raid I did. And it was also the 30th. And here, here it is right here. Here is me showing you... Um, level... 41 and I'm catching this Esper right here I don't know what the gender was you know it almost makes you wish that Esper was shiny with the amount of Esper raids a lot of us all over the world did today it really does and when it comes back you're gonna be like oh I don't want to do this raid again just please be in the wild Majority of these espers I did get were three stars, though. And here it's showing you again, level 41. Uh, I may or may not have showed the image in the previous clip, but what I have yet to do is put the glasses on my avatar. So I think I'm going to do that. I made me out stick my buddy. But that's got to change because I've seen what level 42 entails. And we're not going to talk about that this video. We'll talk about it next video. Um, no, we'll, we'll show it off here. We'll show it off here. Videos run long enough. You've got some Eevee evolutions. You gotta use items. You gotta make three excellent throws and you gotta use 200 berries to help catch Pokemon. So the Eevee thing is gonna take me a couple days, if not longer than that, because you gotta do all forms. So three of those forms, you know, it's gonna be random. They Porygon, Jolteon, and um, Flareon. I believe if you haven't used a name evolution or a name trick, you can do that. But how I felt was like one of them was attack, one of them was a defense, and one of them was a middle. So maybe find an Eevee that has stats like that and try your luck, okay? Um, I could try that right now. I think I got one of them out of the way by evolving and I got like a Vaporeon. But the two that you're gonna need to walk are going to be Umbreon, you can evolve it at night after walking 10 kilometers. And the same with, uh, man, I cannot remember. I want to say it's Espeon during the daytime, okay? And then you've got Leafeon and Glaceon, which if you've got a Mossy Lore and a Glacier Lore, you can get those two. So yeah, your lures are going to be important there. Um, a lot of this, you know, you don't want to rush because you're going to be spending some money, believe you me. Uh, if you don't mind that, cool. Uh, but if you do, this is going to take you a lot more time than you think. And, you know, the moral of this video is take your time with it despite what you saw. Okay? The Rare Candy XL looks pretty cool. I had no idea that that was a thing until I saw this. And I was left with just, you know, three or four passes left here. So here's a clip of me, and I'll probably show that at the beginning of the video. You probably already saw that by now. Uh, but yeah, that is that is everything. That is everything. So uh, I'll end it here. This is a long video anyway. I'm excited. We are going to continue on on level 42 uh, tomorrow. There is also going to be some new Pokemon coming out, right? As early as 10 a.m., we're going to have the next generation coming, and I will be on the quest for Greninja, yes. I will be on the quest for that. I will be grinding wherever I can for that, and also for Obama Snow. I'll be looking for that, so uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'd be remiss, yes, remiss if I didn't tell you to share, and, you know... Leave a leave a, a comment if you can. Because I already said comment and subscribe. <laughs> no, no blooper reel. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. We finally went beyond plus ultra. Captain Sensation. No really need to rush it, you know. 
take your time, even though I just showed you otherwise, but I felt like I had to do it just for me. Uh, and, and some of you are that same way. You just want to see something different. You've been seeing the same thing for the last couple of years, 40, 40, everybody's 40. And you're just like, no, I've been playing this too long to just be the same level. You know, maybe that's, you know, that's again, ego, but, um, uh, a lot of esper <laughs> if it wasn't for the male and female versions i probably wouldn't have even entertained the idea of it if maybe waited till raid hour tomorrow and said you know well as a recording of this video tomorrow and just done a whole bunch of kiram so speaking of kiram that's who i'm looking for next it's a shame it's not the black or gray version or the white version you know, it's one of those versions, right? But there's supposed to have been three versions of it. I think we only got the black and white version, right? That's what I'm looking forward to next in the next few minutes. I think one should have dropped, but I'm excited. Are you level 41 yet? How exhausting was it for you to catch 200 Pokemon and then turn around and do 30 raids? I did 200 raid or two caught 200 Pokemon within a day. I think it was 200 that you had to get, right? 200 in a day and then today did that set of 30 raids Woo! and it might have might have been 28 but man there it is <laughs>